Direct Nutrition Reviews is the bedrock of a profitable sheep enterprise. Monitoring the condition of those ewes is a simple and incredibly effective assessment of whether we've been feeding our sheep correctly or incorrectly. Stockmanship in Scottish ewe flocks is world renowned, but how do we get better? Quality Meat Scotland is committed in supporting Scottish farmers in improving efficiencies and profits. My name is Michael Blanche, I'm a sheep farmer and I also work for Quality Meat Scotland. Today's video is going to be on condition scoring of ewes, how we do it and how it affects profitability. Okay, so we're with uh, Trevor Cook, uh, cattle and sheep consultant from New Zealand. Trevor, you do a lot of work on condition scoring and you hold it in great esteem. Why, why is it important? Because we have so much data that relates the condition score of the ewe at critical times of, of the production cycle with those production outcomes. So what are those crucial times? Are there targets to be had at different times of the year? In the summer, with, with what we have as summer pastures, we need to be intervening no later than six weeks before tupping to be able to realistically lift condition score of ewes before tupping. Okay. And the other key intervention time to be able to influence that outcome is at pregnancy scanning because lighter ewes identified at pregnancy scanning can still be lifted before they lamb. The condition score that I work to is, is three, so ewes below three to me offer an opportunity because if we can lift them we know we will get increased performance. So it is a matter of, of managing a flock to minimise the number of ewes that are below condition score three at tupping and at lambing. The prize. If we do all this condition scoring that you're suggesting, what what financially can we expect the benefits to be? I can only talk in a New Zealand context. Getting those condition scores right at, at, at tuffing and then at lambing has the potential to lift flock profitability by between 20 and 25 percent. Really? Absolutely. The site that we monitor is purely how sharp the ends of the short ribs are. So behind the ribs and in front of the pelvis are the short ribs in the lumbar region. And we're, we're feeling at the, on the end of those short rub, ribs and are assessing how sharp they are. And the ready Rechner guide that I use, even in, when I'm condition scoring to calibrate my hands, is to use my own hands as a guide. Because if the end of those short ribs is that, are that sharp, that is one. If they're that sharp, they are two. And if they're that sharp, they're three. And if I can't feel the ends of those short ribs, it's condition score four. In going through a flock and feeling that one site, you can go through very quickly and divide, identify those sheep that are below three. We're not trying to identify those that are four. All we're doing is identifying the sheep that are below three because they offer the opportunity. As simple as whatever's below three gets a dot on the, yes. on the back. You know, crucial times being six to eight weeks before tupping, scanning time, uh, and doing all we can, splitting that flock uh, in two, I suppose, would be the ideal. Anything below target, we feed up. Three, just about three, a generous three. Whereas we have a U here that's condition score two. Condition score. Three and a half. Condition score three and a half. So we've heard in this video about how important condition scoring is in terms of raising profitability levels, in terms of productivity, in terms of health and welfare. It's relatively simple and very quick to do. Please just get involved in all the meetings that QMS are arranging throughout the country and go onto our website. There's huge amounts of stuff on our website, uh, qmscotland.co.uk. Uh, and sign up to our e-newsletter.